Hi, this is Chris. And this is Sue. And we're down in the basement of our old house by our oil tank. With winter coming and us isolating more at home, we're wondering how this is affecting our daily use. So I have an idea. I have a 275 gallon vertical oil tank and it has a float gauge on it. It gives you an approximate value for how much oil is in it. My tank has an extra two inch vent uh, connector on top. I'm gonna remove that and put in a sensor to measure the distance to the top of the oil. So I have a pipe wrench here. I'm gonna try to use it to open up the tank here. Leave it open too long because it will smell up the house. I got a two inch uh, pipe fitting PVC that's threaded that I'm going to put in and while I'm working at it I'm going to just have a cap here I can just put in to try to keep the fumes from coming into the house. I'm just going to thread this PVC fitting in for now. Later I'll put some pipe thread sealant on it. And then I just have this cap now. I'm just going to temporarily keep on the... To test out the idea, I have a SparkFun particle photon board. It's got the Arduino pinouts on it. And then I'm going to use a ultrasonic uh, ping sensor. It's an HC SR04. Right now I'm just powering it over USB from my Ryobi battery project. I 3D printed this little adapter plate for the ultrasonic sensor so it will just fit into a normal you know two dollar PVC two inch connector. I put the prototype ping sensor in the two inch PVC and I'm just gonna put some saran wrap over the top of it now and then I'll go start trying to figure out how to come up with a formula for the distance from the top of the tank down to the oil and convert that to gallons. I'm up with two alternative methods to calculate the number of gallons and then we can compare to the manual gauge. So I needed to convert inches of oil in the tank to gallons so I found a web page on www.fuelsnap.com and they had this table. So I found this polynomial regression software on the web and you just paste your data here so that's the data I got from that oil tank chart. And then I just selected a, a six a coefficient, five degree polynomial, and it calculates the equation that we're gonna use and it graphs to show you how well it fit your data. The other approach is to determine the underlying equations. To measure the number of gallons in the tank, we need to know some dimensions of the tank. So the length of the tank is 60 inches, the height is uh, 44 inches, and the width is 27 inches for a 275 gallon vertical tank. To solve the equations, it's easier if you think of it as this tank as really two half cylinders, one on top and one on bottom, and then a rectangular area in the middle. Then you just have to think of the problem in three different cases. One where the level is in the lower cylinder, one is when it's inside the rectangular area, and one is when it's above the in the top cylinder. I don't want to bore you with all the details, but basically if you think of the bottom cylinder, well, we need to find out this angle here uh, for the level. And once you do that, using uh, you know, sort of standard math and you have the angle here then you can run it through some formulas that you can find on the web. So on the math is fun site you can find the formula for the area of a segment and uh, it's just using these simple constructs that you can solve for the volume in the tank. I'll put the code and the uh, 3D models over on Thingiverse or one of these other sites this is the piece I designed to go inside the two inch PVC pipe. It has a place for the little ultrasonic sensor to put its sit on this. And then 
I made this area for holding the particle proton processor. Uh, there's just the holes here just so it stays put. And then I let, cut out areas for the pins that I want to get at so I can put jumpers on them. This is the latest version of the sensor and, and proton holder. I printed it on the textured plate because I'm using a PETG material which is resistant to oil. Just remove it and we'll have to peel off the support material. Got the part cleaned up, and I've got my particle proton, and I'm just gonna slide that in. It should hold it. We've got the ultrasonic sensor. We want to make sure that the the pins out are facing away from the chip here. It's a very snug fit, so you have to push pretty hard but we want it to be airtight. We've got some female to female pin wires that we're gonna connect between the pins on the ultrasonic sensor and the pins on the particle chip. I've installed the wires between the particle chip and the ultrasonic sensor. So we got plus and minus here going to the grounds and the plus down on the board here. And then we have the trigger going to D0 and the echo going to D1. Our 3D printed board and setup are designed to fit into a two inch PVC pipe. It slides in and sits on that collar. It's a very tight fit. I've got a five volt power supply that's uh, two amps and it's got the micro USB on the connector. And that's the connector that fits into the particle board here. I've taken a PVC two inch cap and drilled a hole in it so that I can put it over the, the unit and I can get at the plug. So then I can plug it in. And then I plan to uh, caulk around here and seal around here. Before I glue this all together, I'm just going to verify that it works by aiming it at different distances and making sure that I'm getting reasonable values. We want this to be airtight to seven pounds of pressure. So I found this Permatex um, oil resistant RTV. So I'm going to use that to caulk around the inside here. So I have some of this really goopy thread compound that I'm going to put on here. Now I'm just going to screw the, the sensor in. Make sure I don't cross thread it. I've installed the Blink app on my phone and so I have it set up so that the oil tank level sensor is sending data so it's showing us as a gauge here uh, how much oil there is and the color goes from red to green and then I have a, uh, a graph down here that gives you longer term what your oil usage is and then I've put a couple of uh, gauges down here that tell you what the actual sensor is is providing you know distance to the oil and then the calculated distances and things like that. I've also installed the if then that application and so you can see that I have a, a application set up so if the oil tank level goes less than 50 gallons it will send a no notification to me and there's a setup button where you can set these things up specify which sensor and what you want to do and 
pretty easy to use. I hope this oil tank monitor project will be helpful to you. If it is, hit like and subscribe. Thanks, have a great day.